Okay, we have here a pretty unusual looking integral. We've got the integral of x to the 15th times five to the x to the two to the three dx. Okay, we have here quite a few things to think about. Like, first of all, you know, we like the base to be e in an exponential, so that's one concern. And then we kind of have a large power on here. It's not clear how that's working with everything. And then it's kind of weird to have this exponent tower here. Well, one easy thing I can do to start is we can just kind of work on this exponent tower. This two to the three exponent towers are evaluated from top to bottom. So we really don't need two to the three here. We can just multiply that out or cube that out. Two cubed is the same thing as eight. So I'll just do a quick rewrite and we'll have x to the 15th and this becomes five to the x to the eight dx. And then again, we could kind of deal with five here, but I think what I want to deal with first is having x to the eighth in the exponent. That's kind of awkward right there. What I want to do here to simplify this, let's just do a u substitution to try to get that to just a first degree term. So we really just want this to be x. And so if I do a u substitution, that's gonna do the right thing. So if I call u equal to x to the eighth, then we'll take a derivative. So du is gonna be eight x to the seventh dx. Well, we don't have x to the seventh anywhere, but we have x to the 15 and we can kind of split that up and make it work, I think. So let's just rewrite again. For x to the 15th, I can break this up. I can write it as x to the eighth times x to the seventh. And that's how I'm gonna create this. So what I'm gonna do is for the x to the seventh, let's bring it all the way over here to the end. And then we want this x to the eighth, I'll put over here. And then I wanna create this eight in front here. So I'm gonna just create that, but I'll multiply by one eighth in front, so I'm not changing it. And then we'll just copy this piece in for now. But now that we have it all lined up, this is just our du right here. And then we have x to the eighth, x to the eighth. So this is gonna just be u. So this is gonna be an easy substitution. So this is all set up for our substitution. So then we'll have the one eighth in front. This here just becomes u. This becomes five to the u, and this here is just du. But now that we have two terms here, I'm thinking we could do integration by parts on this, but I think what I'll do before I do that, let's just clean up this five first. So we'll use this, this technique for five where we don't want five in the base, we want e. So we can create something like e ln five, but we have the u around this, right? So then with exponent properties, we'll just bring that u in and we can write this five to the u, we can write as e ln five times u. So now I'll just make a little space and we can go on to our integration by parts. So what I'm gonna do for that is we'll do the, we'll do the DI method or tabular integration, kind of make some space over here to the right. And what I'll do is I'm gonna differentiate u because that's gonna reduce and we'll integrate this thing, e ln five to the u. On the left, we'll take derivatives here. So derivative of u is gonna be one. Taking another derivative, this is just gonna be zero. Then here, integrating this, we're gonna have e ln five u, but then we need to bring ln five out in the denominator. And then we integrate again, this ln five is just a constant, so it's really the same thing, but we have to bring out another copy of ln five. So then what happens, we bring out another copy, we end up with ln five squared. So then we're gonna have, so then we'll have part of our solution here on the diagonals. So when I rewrite this, we actually have something in common. We have a lot in common here. We've got the e ln five, to the u and ln five. I'm gonna actually factor that out, but when I do that, I'm gonna put it back into this form. So I'm gonna write this as five to the u, and we'll factor out an ln five. And then here for this first piece, we still have this u here, minus, and then we're gonna have, we have an extra ln five here, so we have the ln five squared, this is gonna be one over ln five. And let me just bring down this one eighth that we have in front here, so we'll put that right in front. And now all we need to do to finish this off is just back substitute with our u equal to x to the eighth, back substitute here. So let me just get a little more space to finish this off. Okay, so plugging in for our final solution here, plugging in for five to the u, we're gonna have five x to the eighth over eight ln five. This u here is gonna give me x to the eighth minus one over ln five, add parentheses and a plus c, and that's it. Okay, so there you have it, kind of a weird problem, weird solution made up by a weird guy. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.